Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Warning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on February 26th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to a quick video here from Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Talking about Earth's magnetosphere. Our shield. The natural protective magnetosphere that encompasses our planet is created by the sun's energy but also protects us from cosmic rays incoming solar influx the magnetosphere is our shield and it has been documented throughout history that every so often something happens to our planet in our magnetic field with increased cosmic rays and more and more stories are across the internet are talking about a possible magnetic reversal a magnetic field that protects us quite possibly could be ready for a flip and I've been talking about it on my channel now for four years as I've been broadcasting on YouTube and just most recently we were looking at here large plasma filament causing a tsunami rip across the Sun just finishing a pretty elongated solar minimum and right after this filament we had two sunspots activated right away on the sun's surface. So now we embark on solar cycle 25, where we're going to see a lot more of these sunspots and most likely a lot bigger than what we're looking at here early in the cycle. NASA has warned, scientists are warning, So solar cycles, our sun goes through minimums every 11 years and then maximums. We are embarking on a maximum. And right after this cycle, we could possibly be thrown into a grand solar minimum. So when north becomes south, Earth's magnetic field has dramatically flipped several times throughout the course of our planet's history and with another change long overdue they say because routinely it was happening every 200 to 300 400,000 years and we are long overdue but approximately 40,000 years ago it attempted to switch before snapping it back into place they say NASA illustration here captures the enormous disruption in the field during the reversal. That might explain the South Atlantic anomaly. It truly explains the drifting and speedingly drifting North Pole. It's almost as if the South and North Pole are gravity, gravitating towards each other and are getting ready to bounce. So we don't know much about the effects of a, such a flip because we, we're, we're only going on based on history, cave writings, really. But just recently in New Zealand, when they've been, they found one of the oldest trees in history and all of these events that are unfolding across the planet, land shifts, tectonic plates shifting, landslides, floods, mud floods, volcanoes, Earth's magnetic reversal 42,000 years ago triggered apocalyptic climate change. Could that happen again? 
this is the news that's coming out all across the internet the last few days. So they're saying here that a few centuries of apocalyptic con conditions 42,000 years ago triggered by a reversal of the Earth's magnetic poles combined with changes in the sun's behavior. So now scientists are starting to talk about what we've been talking about on YouTube for four years and trying to prepare everybody for. So that's the key to finding our new multidisciplinary study. The last major geomagnetic reversal triggered a series of dramatic events that have far-reaching consequences for our planet. The magnetic north pole, where a compass needle points to, does not have a permanent location. Instead, it usually wobbles around, close to the geographic north pole. For reasons still not entirely clear, magnetic pole movements can sometimes be more extreme than a wobble. But one of the most dramatic of these pole migrations took place 42,000 years ago and quite possibly took out all life on Earth that was not in a cave. So during these events that are unfolding across the world, it's very fitting that now the articles are coming out and now the truth is coming out because we definitely are going through a once-in-a-lifetime event. The Le Champs excursion has been recognized around the world, including most recently in Tasmania, Australia. But to investigate what happened, they found a, almost a 42,000-year-old tree that in its life rings documented a very catastrophic time on our planet. They say wiped out the Neanderthals. So stay aware and prepared, my friends and family around the world. Earth is changing drastically, trying to balance itself out, really. But our consciousness needs to balance itself out, too. So come together now. Keep sharing and caring. Growing. Because NASA is even talking about it. Everybody's talking about it now. Solar cycle 25, agenda 21, grand solar minimum, Atlantic Gulf Stream. There are a lot of things that we really need to pay attention to. This is a big picture that affects 8 billion people on the planet. The increased volcanism around the world. Volcanic activity, we were looking at 48 erupting and active. That is the most I've recorded in my four years on YouTube. The extreme weather events have displaced more people in the past five years than in recorded history that we know of. So as we spin around our very unpredictable sun going through what we know as predictable solar minimums and maximums, knowing that the sun produces a magnetosphere and affects all of our weather, our mind and our hearts. Why are billionaires and millionaires trying to get off of this planet? And why have they stepped up their defense mechanisms and learning more about asteroids and incoming meteors? There's a lot going on and it's got everything to do with our sun. They want to go to Mars. What do they know that we don't? My friends and family, the time is now. Keep sharing and caring. I encourage you all to do your own research. Much love for humanity. Please share this video with your friends and family. Thanks for watching. Stay blessed. Aware and prepared. And stay young and have fun. Bye-bye. 
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.